Much like last week's video of Shark Fin Cove, we stumbled upon the Davenport Pier Swing kind of by chance. A couple of locals told us that we should check it out and I'm sure glad that we did. Spontaneous finds like these are one of the things that V and I love most about road trips. This spot is super fun to visit, but just a word of warning, it's a little bit sketchy to get to, because at the bottom of this cliff is the remnants of the old Davenport Pier. If you've watched other videos of ours, I'm sure you're very familiar with me saying that shoes with good traction are very important. The descent to the Davenport Pier will have you dropping around 80 feet down some tricky and slippery terrain. Someone did run a rope down the entire length of the drop, but just as a practice, we would never advise that you put your full body weight on a rope that you're not familiar with. It looked like it was in pretty good condition, but no one knows how long it's been out there baking in the sun. You definitely want to take your time while you're making your way down here because you do not want to take a tumble down this hill. At the bottom of the descent, there is this drainage tunnel. We did not go in it, but I saw a video of someone that did, and it looked pretty cool, so we might have to check that out on our next visit. As we got down onto the beach, we noticed that something had changed from the last time that we stopped by. There used to be three pillars out in the ocean, and now all that's left of the third pillar is this tiny dot that you see right here. It definitely made us wonder how much time the two remaining pillars have left. One thing that we found interesting about the Davenport Pier is there isn't a whole lot of information about it. We weren't able to find out when it was in use or what led to its demise. In addition to the pier and swing, this area also features a nice beautiful stretch of coastline. While V got ready for some fun and fancy photos, I headed down a little bit further to explore the area. Unfortunately, there is some graffiti on some of the rocks, but this area is still really beautiful. By the time I got back, V was all dressed up and ready to go. Little did we both know that it was about to get pretty dang funny. The waves here can be a little bit on the inconsistent side. You'll have a bunch of mellow surf and then a huge wave will come and splash all over you. V is a trooper though, and she defiantly stayed on the swing as the waves nipped at her toes. We were getting some really cool shots and V was having a great time. We probably should have quit while we were ahead, but we figured why not give it one more shot. And that was the moment V realized she'd messed up. This was hands down one of the funniest moments of the trip. And it was almost two times as funny because she almost got hit by a second wave. After laughing until our stomachs hurt and drying off a little bit, it was time to head back up that hill so we can get back on our way. I think that going up this hill is just a tiny bit easier than going down. You just want to take your time, and as tempting as it may be, you definitely don't want to put that full body weight on that rope again. Because even as good as it looks and as helpful as it may be, this is what it's tied into at the top. We absolutely love unique spots like these, and we're always looking for new ones. If you have any great spots that you think we should check out, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And that is going to do it for our video about the Davenport Pier Swing. If you enjoy our videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that is by far the best things that you can do to support this channel. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for all the information about this swing as well as other awesome things to do in California, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.